Hey everyone, this is Rhoda. How's it going? In this video, I am talking about ex-lovers and specifically I'm talking about how to clear energy from an ex-lover. And this is something I think is so important. And I, I sometimes I think some of us just aren't conscious, right, of how much energy we are holding on um, in our bodies, you know, from another person or from a relationship. And uh, it's essential, it's essential to clear energy out because when we are in a relationship with somebody, you merge, right, with that person so deeply. You know, you become one, you create this union, your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts, like all of that stuff, right, your vibration, all of it becomes entangled. And so when you, um, you know, if, if you end the relationship, no matter how much distance you create from that person, right? You could literally move like all the way across the world away from this person to try and get away from them. But still, the energy of them will linger in your body, in your cells. And you need to move this out. You need to move this out. Because if you don't, it will impact the other relationships that you have after that one. And not only that, but it'll just impact your daily life. You know, you'll, that, that will weigh upon your body. It will affect everything from your moods, to your habits, to how you show up in the world, to your work, to your creativity, to all of your other relationships with friends, family. Um, and yeah, you, you, you don't want that. We don't want that. So we want to clear all of that out. And so in this video, I am just going to share several what I really think are very effective and powerful ways of clearing out energy from an ex-lover so that you can move forward with total ease and openness and happiness and just ready, you know, ready for whatever is next for you. So one of the things I suggest right away is writing everything down that you want to release, like all of those things that you're conscious of, right? that came with that relationship and with that ex-lover, just all of the stuff um, that's in your mind, just get all of that out on paper. There is something so powerful about writing things out, um, especially um, when we want to release something or in the opposite direction when we want to bring something in, right? So write down all of those things, just get it all out, give yourself the freedom to just get it all out. And then after that, what you want to do is you want to take that piece of paper, you want to read through it and just tell yourself, I am releasing all of these things. I am releasing and just go through the list. I'm releasing this. I'm releasing this. I'm releasing this. And once you do that, you're going to take that list. You're going to burn it. All right. Then you are going to take those ashes and you're gonna bury them somewhere, all right? Somewhere in the soil and just allow that intention, right? Of releasing all of this stuff to get planted in that soil um, so that it can create some transformation for you. And just the act of doing that is um, so amazing and it's so powerful what that can do. The second thing that I would suggest is to plan a cleansing bath and set the intention that this bath is going to be like a kind of ceremony for you, a kind of releasing ceremony. Um, and allow yourself to really draw this bath with intention, um, you know, fill it with essential oils. You might even wanna put some crystals in there that are safe for putting in water. Um, just anything that you can think of, you know, rose petals, just anything that will make it feel good for you. And then when you get in that bath, just fully visualizing yourself, releasing this person, releasing this relationship, just visualizing that happening and just allowing everything in the bath and the water to help you cleanse all of that out, you know, of, of your being. Um, and after all of that's over, just really taking the opportunity to just relax. Water is really a powerful, and positive force and you can use it you can use it to heal you can use it to cleanse yourself you can use it to move forward another thing that I would recommend is keeping rose quartz around like buying rose quartz the crystal if you don't have it 
Um, and if you do have it, just being very intentional, you know, keeping it um, in your pocket, keeping it in your car, keeping it under your pillow, um, keeping it in your purse, just having it around you. Rose quartz is just a very healing crystal. It's very healing for the heart. And, um, you know, a lot of that energy, right, you know, from that relationship and from that lover um, is, is going to be held here in our heart, you know, in our emotions. And so rose quartz really help us to move that out. Another thing I would recommend is to use rose essential oil and to just use this to um, let that scent heal you know rose essential oil is a very powerful scent it's really great for things like grief and for heartache and just for cleansing negative energies cleansing bad energies so again you know set that intention that you are going to fully release this person and this relationship um, put a couple of drops of rose essential oil in your palm um, it's usually it, it shouldn't cause any sensitivity but you might want to check first with your skin to make sure um, on a patch of skin maybe just a little bit to make sure you're not sensitive um, and if you are um, and to be safe you might even just want to you know get a carrier oil like olive oil or sweet almond and then put a couple drops in that and then rub it in your palm and just holding it up to your nose and just breathing that in you know breathing that in and just setting that intention of release and feeling that. You can even put the oil on your pulse points as well. Um, and that will be really helpful in allowing that release to happen. And so the last thing I suggest is really just dancing it out. Setting that intention that you really want to release this person and this relationship and just letting yourself move it out through the body and really just going with what your body is feeling in the moment, you know, whether it's shaking or just swaying back and forth, just moving like crazy, just let yourself go. Um, the body is very intelligent and has a way of really knowing what we want to release and how we want to release it. So just following the wisdom in your body, just feeling into your body and just going with it and just allowing that to dictate the movement. It's, it's just a really powerful way and just one that I really love in terms of releasing. So. I really hope that these tips were useful for you and I really, really hope that you can use them. Um, one or even all of them, you know, pick one that really resonates with you or try them all. It's just based on how you feel. Um, and yeah, um, if you have anything to share, if you also have a tip uh, that you think is really great for releasing energy of an old lover, um, please drop it in the comments and let us know. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.